Who's got the best wings in Canton? On the Ford Road corridor, I went and tested six different places. I drove from the east side over to the west side of Canton, and I'm gonna test them all out today in this video. Welcome everybody, this is Doug Worsley. I am a local realtor here in Canton, Michigan, so who better to test out all the chicken places than me, myself? Three of them are more restaurant style, maybe four restaurant style, and two were focused specifically on wings. So this is kind of what I wanted to see, is like, who's got that best flavor? And I, in that testing, that I did, they're all very similar flavored wise. I either got Korean Zing, Asian Zing, something in that fashion of that mid heat level. Uh, there was one particular one that had no Asian or K Asian or Cajun, Asian or Korean, but they did have a bar spicy barbecue that was in that same level. So first the thing I noticed was the size. Check out the size differences between all of them. You have some that are very puny wing, and then you got some that are very meaty, right? That alone can decide where you want to go for a wings. If you, you know, if you're a big guy like myself, I love those meaty wings. Uh, the next thing is is the price. Uh, every one was a little bit priced differently because some of them came five pieces, some came six pieces, some came seven. And so, to be fair, I wanted to price them per wing and find out exactly what the cost is of these. So, I'm going to start off with the Korean barbecue. I think they had the highest price per wing, which was two dollars and sixteen cents. However, they were the meatiest of them all so I think uh, price versus value you're gonna get there uh, a Buffalo Wild Wings was a dollar 83 Mavericks was a dollar 70 Wingstop was a dollar 29 they were the cheapest uh, and then you had shakers which was a two dollars per and spoons was two dollars so they're all pretty close to being about the same price but let's jump in and uh, see what the flavor is we're gonna start off with the Korean barbecue and I'm gonna do wingdings on all these but This one here has got very good flavor. Um, the sauce is very good, but it's, you know, besides it being meaty, it's the, uh, the breading that they got on there. It's got a very thicker breading compared to some of these other ones. Hmm, I could eat these all day. All right, so after each one, I'm gonna do a little water cleansing to make sure it's kind of a fair, a fair test, taste test. Next, we're gonna go with the Buffalo Wild Wing. A little disappointed in the, uh, the size of the wing. I mean, it's, it's very petite. Uh, Flavor-wise, I've, I've been eating these ones for a long time, so I know, already know what the flavor is gonna be like. The Asian Zing, it's a very good flavor. I love the, the sauce of it. It's not bad, but like I said, there's just nothing there. One bite, and I'm another bite, and it's gonna be gone. Two small bites, that's gonna be a, a downside kicker for me. All right, so number three, this is from Mavericks. I'm gonna tell you right now, what I like about Mavericks is it's very saucy. So that's got a big bonus right there. It's also a meatier type of wing. Mm. Wow, that's, uh, that's definitely good. And uh, what I noticed already between this one versus the Buffalo Wild Wings is this is, uh, the meat itself was a little bit more tender versus the other one. So I don't know if it's just dried out because of the, you know, the taste testing that I'm doing, but it just, it seemed like it was, it just felt like it was more uh, moist than the other ones. That's a, actually a good one. So number four, this is from Spoon's Place. They did not have any of the Asian or Korean Zing. So I just got the spicy barbecue, but they do got a very good meaty size uh, wing. And let's bite into this one. Mm. So again, I think it's because of the amount of meat that's on them. They're not as dried out as some of the smaller wings, but the sauce is very good. It's not heat wise. It's the same as the uh, the Korean and Asian zings, but this is more of a barbecue sauce, uh, which is still very good. So that's a nice, that's a good contender right there. All right, we're down to number five. Number five is Shakers. Shakers has uh, a little bit more of a darker sauce to it. Um, they are the, a little bit on the smaller side, size wise, but let's see what the flavor is like. It's got good flavor. Um, oh, it's kind of hard to describe. It kind of feels like it's got some peppery taste to it as well. It's a good wing. I don't think it's gonna compare it to the other two, but let's uh, get down to the last one and then you'll see which ones I'm gonna rank them. All right, so we're down to the last one, which is Wingstop. Wingstop, it does have, uh, it is a smaller wing, but the, the, the drummit does look to be a little bit meatier than, uh, than the wing thing itself, so. 
Sauce isn't bad. The chicken seems to be a little on the drier side compared to the uh, some of the other ones. So based on this of the six that I went to, it's gonna be kind of hard to rank them, but I know my top three is gonna be Mavericks, the Korean barbecue, and then spoons. And I don't necessarily know what's gonna be in that order. I definitely like Mavericks. Maverick sauce is, is very good. The breading was very good on the Korean barbecue. And spoons, because of the size, but even though they didn't have the, uh, the Korean or the Asian zing, they just had the spicy barbecue. But I think those three would be my top three, and I don't think you can go wrong with either three. Um, rounding up the bottom, I'm gonna have to go, uh, after spoons, I'll go shakers because of the unique flavor. And, well, I don't know, I think, it's a, it's a toss up between Wingstop and Buffalo Wild Wings, which one would be my, my last choice. Um, if you take out the environment side and, and stuff like that, and just the wings itself, it's, it's they're almost uh, very similar. You know, as far as going out for a night, obviously I'll go to Buffalo Wild Wings before I go to Wingstop, but I, I, I'm gonna have to put those two at a tie for, for last place. I don't think I can rate one better than the other. And uh, pretty much that's what I, uh, what I have for my wings. Um, now, with that said, I know there's lots of different uh, wing places out there. So why don't you comment on the bottom as to what is your favorite wing place that you like to go to, regardless if it's in Canton or not. And one more test, which one do you like? Do you like the drumstick or do you like the wing? Which is your favorite? So comment below. And then if you wanna live over here in Canton or anywhere else, just feel free to give me a call at 734-560-3499. I'd be happy to help you locate a place that uh, you could call home and you could eat these chicken wings all day long.